We are turning up on this Friday. No, Welcome we're back. turning. We're turning up. We're turning up. Yes, we are. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Whether it's on the big screen, the small screen, or from the stage, our next guest has kept us laughing for years. He was an early star on MTV, then went on to multiple movie roles in Love Jones, How to Be a Player, and The Brothers. And of course, you can always find him cracking jokes at the comedy club. Please welcome actor and comedian Bill Bellamy. Yeah, yes. yeah. You heard, yeah. Yeah, you heard that. <laughs> What's up? I'm everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Stage, my yeah. cousin house, y'all house. Hi. Just turning Just up. Just turning up. Look at this. Right here, Look man. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, Hello, Sarah. Mr. Bellamy. Thank you for having me, guys. Yes, you look fantastic, hey, sir. I feel good. I love this stuff. It's comfy. Yes. Wait, okay. wait, let me make sure I sit up right. Mama say, sit up, boy. Sit up, yes. There you go. Yes, yes. Mr. Bellamy. Thank okay, you. looking all good. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, fun, my God. Fun. I love coming to Atlanta. Atlanta is like literally Wakanda. Mm, it is. It says beautiful black people everywhere. Like, yes. We are oh. here. We are here. We are on the 85. <laughs> we are on 85. <laughs> we are on Peachtree. Yeah. Yes. We are here everywhere. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> and 700,000 more people are coming I'm to the coming. city. Did, did, did y'all not say y'all can't come, no more people? Well. Y'all yeah. don't have no more lanes. Yeah, yeah I know. The see, traffic that. is bad. I, I just bought a helicopter. I was like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> just go ahead. I'm just going to do it. Ain't no way I'm going to get to Chick-fil-A without a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> from the very beginning or what so seems to be so the very silly. beginning. It's fine. As a VJ on MTV, yes. I mean, you got the chance to, to interview so many people, Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson. Prince. When you, Prince. When you look back on those, that part of your career, yes. what does it make you feel like? It makes me feel really, really amazing because I was, I just happened to catch a wave. I was at the right place at the right time. I was, uh, you know, when music television, MTV, was the only way to know about artists at mm -hmm. that time. Yeah, like, yeah. now you guys can go to sure YouTube enough. and stuff, but in the 90s, MTV was, like, the best way to sell a record. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity to interview everybody at the beginning of their career, or they were dropping a great album, I mean, from Hootie and the Blowfish to Kurt yes. Cobain to Michael. I mean, I remember, like, Diddy mm -hmm. when he was Puffy. Yes, right, right, I mean, right. people don't forgot he was Puffy, right. then he was Puff Daddy, then he was just Puffy Daddy Holmes. Puff, right. then he was Coco Puff, <laughs> and then... Now now it's love, daddy love. Or he something. was daddy love or yeah, something. Yeah, he right. went through a transformation. Yes. You know? I mean, um, who else? Uh, Beyonce. Like honestly, the first time I interviewed her, she was in Destiny's Child, and I think Beyonce was roughly about seventeen or mm -hmm. maybe sixteen. Mm -hmm. And I and I remember in my interview, I was like, "How did you know you want to be a star so early?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know I was gonna be an actor or anything. I just right. was a silly dude in the cafeteria. Yeah. Now, how, you have been doing comedy, though, forever as forever, well. Forever, yes. So how has your comedy evolved from that era to now? Yeah. Well, I think your, your comedy evolves with your life, just mm -hmm. like songwriting, right? Mm -hmm. You write a song, you write about what you experience, you mm -hmm. write about what you feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, comedians, we, we see everything in, like, HD. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're contemporary. You're always being relevant with your material. And then every piece that you add to your life, that adds to your show. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, in the 90s, you know, I was single, I'm crazy, I'm wildin', so then you come up with the booty call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you make your booty call? So you, you, did you come up with that? Yes! Time? Girl, you see, y'all got Tinder and Bumble. Now, we back then, we had to call, be like, hey, <laughs> hello? <laughs> no? Nope. Hello? Right. Now you can swipe. They right. cheat in the game. Swipe. You, just, swipe. you don't even know you got swiped. You just gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least back in the day, you either get hung up on or they would be like, I don't know what... Can Keisha come with me? <laughs> you know that. You know when it's not gonna work. When she said, "Can I bring yeah, Keisha?" No, you know that's not gonna happen. It's two thirty in the morning. Right. She said, "Can I bring Keisha?" Right, it's, right, it's, right. It's not that night. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, you talked about like you evolving as a comedian yes. and from the booty call. You've so been now, married seventeen yeah, 17. years. Seventeen. Yeah. What's the key to, to your marriage? I just celebrated sixteen. Yeah, uh, Selena I mean, just celebrated hers as well. I think it's yeah. like you know. Honestly, I think it's a lot of communication and just being, you have to compromise. Like, you just, you it's just not about you and what, you know, you have to be able to do things for the team. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Always, always compare it to, like, a basketball team. You know, how do we win? How do we win the game? Yeah. You can't be mm -hmm. selfish. You got to pass the ball. Uh -huh. You got to pass the you ball. You got to have the ball today, Selena. I'm going to sit here and just let you shoot. You can't just keep the no, ball. No, I can't ball. always have the ball. <laughs> yeah. Because that ain't right. You know, you sometimes you want to dunk. Then give me one. Yeah. And then if we pass the ball, <laughs> now we good. So we teamwork. Now we not fighting in the locker room. See mm. what I'm saying? 
Bone. Love it, love it, Daddy. love it. When we return, we'll talk about your Bailey, because I got a Bailey, yes. and your Annie and Baron, and we'll talk more. Comedy tour yes. and everything else. You'll keep us laughing. Yes. Isn't good? Start right here. Yes. We do a bad time down there. Okay, you know how to interview on this. <laughs> Live. We are back with this man, actor, comedian, Bill Bellamy. Now. Yeah, and y'all got good beats. Mm, Talk to beast. me now. Come on. Hey, hey, I'm living hey. my best life. Hey, 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 going back and forth. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 go. Stop yeah. right All right. There. So All before right. the break, we alluded to you being the father of two yes. teenagers. Two teenagers. Yes, yes. I have a Bailey. You have a Bailey, and, yes. and Baron. So what? What type of father are you? I am a old school, new school. Okay. So the new school is like you know I'm gonna listen to Spotify with you. I'm a, you know, I'm gonna go to the movies and I'm gonna be kind of fun. The old school kind is like, fun. shut it off! Yes. <laughs> Ain't nobody, no more phones today. C computers, oh everything. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. See, see, that, they love computers and stuff. Yes. And, and they love to be. You, I don't want to talk to you going, yeah, daddy, I had a good time at school. Yeah. <laughs> no, we we gotta shut the phones down um, and connect. Right. Yes. The yes, other sir. day, this what you should do with your kids. I did this. Try this out. The whole day, we're not going to do phones while we're together, and let's just talk. It was old school, no. Yeah. They was like, ooh, they start talking. Uh -huh. They start telling you stuff. Uh -huh. They're not on YouTube. Uh -huh. And it was fun. Yeah, yeah. Right? Now, and, now, with everything that's going on in the world, mm -hmm. we need to laugh. Mm -hmm. All day. How do you incorporate politics in your comedy bit? So that people can laugh about some of the stuff. Well, some of it too painful, but uh, yeah. But but I I, I I like I I bring out the joy in the simplicity of things mm -hmm. that people are thinking about anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because people get mad at Donald Trump, but do you ever just see like don't Donald Trump twice a day make you do this? Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy tour, really quick, real quick. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Every no, he tweet. Did he say every that? Tweet? Yes. Every, ooh, see? <laughs> Go. Latest comedy tour. All right. So right now, um, I'm working on my my new tour. is is basically is, is icon living. Like it's basically like people look at me as a legend in the game. As mm -hmm. you know, so it's like it's all about living your best life, having fun. That's the energy of the show, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm talking about. Like really, like everybody going hard. You know, you don't don't take your life for granted. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the energy of my of my hour. Yes. Beautiful. And Beautiful. that's what it's about because we need to feel good right now. Absolutely. Yes. It's so much stress. Like I think people come to laugh to have fun. Yes. yes. And you have made us feel Thank so you. good for many today. Years. You want to catch him? Please make sure you check him out at Uptown Comedy Theater tonight yes. through Sunday. And the conversation what always we continues at SisterCircleTV.com. The oh, amazing so Bill Bellamy. Yeah.